Okay, now, before we proceed for the differentiation of trigonometric function, first we have to know the derivative of trans, uh, transcendental functions. Transcendental functions are those that are not algebraic. These are the trigonometric or circular functions. The inverse circular function, the logarithmic function, and the exponential functions. Now, for the trigonometric functions, for the trigonometric functions, first we have to identify the Pythagorean identities. We have sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta is equal to 1, and tangent squared theta plus 1 is equal to second squared theta. And 1 plus cotangent squared theta is equal to cosecant squared theta. But let us have first recap about the, uh, the Pythagorean formula. Okay, remember that under the Pythagorean theorem, the sum of the, uh, the square of the hypotenuse is uh, the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the square of the other two sides. Diba? We have a right triangle. Trigonometric function, eh? Okay. Right angle. Therefore, this one is your theta. The opposite side of your theta is this one. This is the opposite side. Let this one as your side A, and this one would be the adjacent side for the angle theta. Therefore, let this one as your B, and the hypotenuse now is this one. Let that one as C. Now, use under the tri uh, trigonometric function, we have sine theta that is equal to opposite over the hypotenuse opposite over the hypotenuse. Therefore, that is equal to A over C. While cosine theta is equal to adjacent over the hypotenuse, which is equal to B over C. While tangent theta is equal to opposite over the adjacent. Okay, therefore, that is A over B. While cotangent theta, that is equal to adjacent over the opposite, which is equal to B over A. While second theta is equal to hypotenuse over the adjacent. Ah, okay. It's equal to C over B. While cosecant theta is equal to hypotenuse over the opposite to C over A. Okay. Now, okay. we can also use yung um, sinasabi nating uh, hexag uh, no, hexagon formula. Okay. How do we do your hexagon formula? Okay, we have sine, cosine, tangent, cotangent, second, cosecant. Okay, under this one, pwede po siyang uh, pa-clockwise or pa-counterclockwise. Sabihin natin, this one is your sine theta, cosine theta, tangent theta, second theta, cosecant theta, uh, theta, and cotangent theta. Now, for the sine theta, 
that would be equal to clockwise, you have cosine theta over cotangent theta. Or sine theta is also equal to tangent theta over secant theta. And sine theta is also equal to 1 over cosecant theta. 1 over cosecant theta. While for the cosine theta, that is equal to uh, clockwise, you have cotangent theta over cosecant theta. Cosine theta is also equal to sine theta over tangent theta. Then, cosine theta is also equal to 1 over secant theta. 1 over secant theta. While tangent theta is equal to sine over sine theta over cosine theta. And then, we have tangent theta, which is also equal to secant theta over cosecant theta. Then tangent theta is also equal to 1 over cotangent theta. Now for the cotangent, we have cotangent theta that is equal to cosecant theta over secant theta. And uh, cotangent theta is equal to cosine theta over sine theta. And cotangent theta is equal to 1 over tangent theta. Next, for the second theta. Okay. For the second theta, that is equal to second theta cosecant over cotangent. Cosecant theta over cotangent theta. Second theta is equal to no need to memorize, just uh, do the hexagon formula. Okay, second theta, tangent over sine. Tangent theta over sine theta. Or second theta is equal to 1 over cosine theta. 1 over cosine theta. And we have... Uh, cosecant theta is equal to cotangent over cosine. Cotangent theta over cosine theta. Or cosecant theta is equal to second theta over tangent theta. And cosecant theta is equal to 1 over sine theta. Okay, this one is under the uh, trigonometric, uh, trigonometric relations. Now, uh, reciprocal relations for the trigonometric functions. Now, after knowing that, we have the rules of differentiation. Okay. Formula for the differentiation. The derivative of sine u with respect to x is equal to cosine u derivative of derivative of u with respect to x and the derivative of cosine Derivative of cosine u with respect to x is equal to negative sine u derivative of u with respect to x. 
while the derivative of tangent u with respect to x is equal to second squared u derivative of u with respect to x. Then we have the derivative of cotangent u with respect to x is equal to negative cosecant squared u derivative of u with respect to x. Then derivative of second u with respect to x is equal to second u tangent u derivative of u with respect to x. Then we have the derivative of cosecant u with respect to x is equal to negative cosecant u cotangent u derivative of u with respect to x. In example, Example one. Now find for the derivative of given is y equal to sine four x plus cosine five x. Find for y prime. Okay. Now the y prime now. The derivative of sine is equal to cosine 4x. And the derivative of your 4x is 4. Okay, therefore, that is what? Uh, 4 plus the derivative of cosine that is negative sine 5x. And then the derivative of your 5x is Five. Therefore, the prime, uh, final answer y prime is equal to 4 cosine 4x four minus 5 sine 5x. Five okay. Example number 2. Okay. Given is y is equal to tangent x cubed. Find for y prime. Now, your y prime, the derivative of our tangent is second squared x cubed. And then the derivative of your x cubed is 3x squared. Therefore, your y prime now is equal to 3x squared second squared x cubed. Number three, y is equal to cotangent 2 minus 3x squared. Okay, now find for the y prime. Now the requirement is to find for the y prime. Remember that the, uh, the derivative of your cotangent is negative cosecant squared 2 minus 3x squared and the derivative of your 2 minus 3x squared is negative 3 times 2 is negative 6x okay therefore your y prime is equal to negative times negative therefore that is positive y prime positive 6x cosecant squared 2 minus uh, 2 minus 2 minus 3x squared. y prime equal to 6x. Uh, cosecant squared 2 minus 3x squared. Number four example. Number four. 
Okay, given if y is equal to tangent x plus y, find for y prime. Okay, now get the derivative. The derivative of your tangent is second squared x plus y. Then get the derivative of this one. That is 1 plus y prime. Then your y prime is equal to uh, distribute po natin to. Okay, we have uh, second squared x plus y times 1. The eto, second squared x plus y plus then multiply sa y prime natin. You have y prime second squared x plus y. Okay, now, we have to, uh, pag, uh, kailangan natin pagsamahin yung parehas na may y prime. Therefore, i-transpose natin yung isa dito sa kabila. Okay, therefore, we have uh, second squared, and then you have y prime minus y prime. Transpose your y prime minus, uh, y prime second squared quantity x plus y to the left. Kaya magiging negative. Uh, second squared x plus y equal to, equal to second squared x plus y. Then, common factor, y prime. Okay, common factor is y prime. Therefore, we have y prime times 1 minus second squared x plus y equal to second squared x plus y. Then your y prime equal to second squared x plus y over 1 minus second squared second squared x plus y. 1 minus second squared x plus y, this one is equal to what? 1 minus second squared, that is what? 1 minus second squared is equal to what? Negative 1. Using you sa Pythagorean identities, that is what? 1 minus second squared. Ito natin. Negative tangent squared Negative theta. Tangent. Yes. Very good. That is, ito yung formula ng ito, tangent squared theta plus 1, di ba equal to second squared theta. But the given is 1 minus second squared. Kaya ang gagamitin natin is, tama, thank you, log second squared x plus y over negative tangent squared x plus y. Remember, yung second squared natin, pwede natin gamitin yung sa hexagon. Therefore, that is y prime. Ang second squared na pwede natin gamitin, that is 1 over cosine squared x plus y. Iba parehas lang yan. Yung gagamitin natin yung second squared. A second is also equal to 1 over cosine. Since naka-squared siya, therefore that is also cosine squared. Alam niyo po kung saan ko nakuha to. Bakit naging 1 over cosine squared? Using yung sa hexagon. Okay. Then, yung tangent natin, using again for the hexagon, therefore that is negative sine squared x plus y over cosine squared x plus y. Cancel. Reciprocal. Diba ito ay makakancel. Therefore, we have equal to uh, negative 1 over sine squared x plus y. 1 over sine squared x plus y is equal to what? Negative cosecant x plus y. Very good. Negative cosecant squared x plus y. Okay. Now, negative cosecant squared x plus y using the Pythagorean identities that is equal to what? Equal to what? 
That is equal to what? Sabihin natin, sabihin natin, uh, y prime negative cos theta squared x plus 1. From the Pythagorean identities, that sure 1 plus cosangent squared theta is equal to cos secant squared theta. What would be the value of your cos secant squared? Y prime now is equal to what? Negative 1 minus negative quantity 1 plus cotangent squared uh, x plus y. Tama po ba? Okay. Now, you have your y prime and then yung given natin na y is equal to tangent x plus y. This one is from the given, di ba? Kung tangent x plus y yan. Okay. Ang tangent natin is the same as Kung gagamitin natin yung sa hexagon, that is 1 over cotangent x plus y. Tama po ba? Okay. Is it correct? Cotangent, cotangent, hindi cotangent. 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 Parehas lang po ba? Yes po. Okay. The same. Okay. Therefore, we have y prime. Right. Kung cotangent ang given natin, therefore the cotangent is equal to, sabi natin, according to the hexagon, cotangent theta is equal to 1 over tangent theta. Okay. Therefore, your cotangent squared now is the same as 1 plus cotangent squared is what? Uh, 1 over tangent squared x plus y. Tama po ba? Okay. Is it the same? The same po ba? Hindi siya magic ha? You have your cotangent and according to the hexagon, your cotangent is equal to 1 over tangent. Is it correct? Yes po. Okay. Since this one is squared, therefore the tangent will become also squared. Okay. And if you notice this one, yung tangent squared x plus y natin, your y is equal to tangent x plus y. Therefore, your y squared now is equal to tangent squared x plus y. Can you follow? Kasi ano squared to, di ba? Eh, ang y natin ay, ay equal to tangent x plus y. Pwede naman ang gawin natin, you have y prime equal to negative 1 plus 1 over y squared. Kasi di ba yung tangent natin ay y, yung tangent squared x plus y yung sa given natin. Therefore, your y prime now is equal to negative uh, negative 1 plus negative 1 plus 1 over y squared over y prime is equal to negative 1 plus y raised to negative another example Uh, y is equal to tangent squared 3x minus 2. Ah, wait, 3x minus 2. 3x minus 2. Mind for y double prime. Now, for the higher derivative, the requirement is to find for the y double prime. Okay, oh, how do we solve for this one? In solving this one, we can use what? The power formula. Diba yung u to the n? Okay, first, we have y prime. Okay, you have 2 tangent 3x minus 2. 
the derivative of your tangent is second squared 3x minus 2. And then the derivative is 3. Therefore, this one is y prime is equal to 2 times 3 is 6. 6 tangent 3x minus 2 second squared 2nd <coughs> squared 3x minus 2. Okay. We have now your y prime. Now for y double prime, how do we solve for y double prime? You're going to use the product. Let's say you have tangent and second. Second. Therefore, y double prime is equal to 6. Iwalay muna natin ang 6. Okay. We have tangent 3x minus 2, the derivative of your second squared. Again, use the power formula. Therefore, this one is times 2 second 3x minus 2. Then the derivative of your second is uh, second 3x minus 2. Derivative of second is second 3x minus 2 tangent 3x minus 2 times the derivative of 3x minus 2 is 3. Then plus plus okay, plus what? Uh -huh. Ito naman yung pala natin to instead of Bracket brace. Okay, next. Plus. Okay, eto copy. Kasi di ba product ang ginamit natin. Second squared. 3x minus 2. Derivative of your tangent is second squared. Second squared, 3x minus 2. Derivative of this one is 3. Okay, therefore, that is equal to what? Uh, okay. X. Y. Double prime. 6 times. Now, the name? 6 times 2 times 3. 6 times 2, 12. Times 3, 36. 36. Tangent. Tangent. 3x minus 2. Tangent 3x minus 2. The same on base. Okay, what are you going to do for the exponent? Add. The exponent, you have 1 and 1. Therefore, that is tangent squared. 3x minus 2. Then, yung second natin dito, the same ang base, second, second na 3x minus 2. Again, you're going to add the exponent. Okay, we have second squared 3x minus 2 plus 6 times 3, 18. Okay, second squared, saka second squared, the same ang base. Okay, you have to Add the exponent. We have second to the fourth, 3x minus 2. Okay. 